Hello. Hello, hello. Are we on? Yes, yes. Good. Now. Welcome. Okay. Hi. Little story. Uh, by the way, you can see from the title here. Reaper Bones Miniatures Kickstarter number four unboxing. This is in 2017. They ordered, uh, they, they started this Kickstarter. I didn't get into number three other than to get the big dragon. My brother-in-law did though, and it was awesome. So it's like, I gotta get into the next one. So I did. And the box two years later is here. And we're gonna have a great time, great, great time unboxing it. Uh, eh, eh. Okay. Now, these little air packets are fun. I don't really have any use for them. So, we'll start with this. It's very fun. It's like popping, like, uh, like, uh, the air, air stuff. A little ASMR for you. It's not, it's not, it's not everybody's jam. I don't actually care much for the crinkling sounds myself. Uh, yeah, an ASMR. I did. Uh, I did for a long time. Um, for example, what is her name? Tingle, Tingle Bill, I think. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Okay. Reaper Bones. Reaper Bones Black. But on black. Ooh. It actually... We recommend Loctite brand super glue. Okay, I have that over there. Already got it. Don't have to do crazy stuff. That's good. This is a convention in Texas that I'm not going to be able to go to for reasons. Reaper live on Twitch and YouTube and the like. What is all this? Is this just like paper stuff and things? Oh, uh, you can order paint. Cool. And it shows you how to paint your minis. Okay, that's actually super dope. Uh, like super dope. Look, it has, I'll show you this real quick. It has the, like all the different steps. Uh, I don't tend to paint my minis just because I'm a lazy bum <laughs> for the most part. Uh, just on account of how all that works out. Okay, that's just rando McPaperness. What's this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Does it, does it say something? Nope. Does not say something. It is taped on this end though. We'll pop it open and have a blasty. Scissors are your friend when unboxing things. Oh. Okay. This is. Uh, looks to be a dragon. A big, big-ass dragon. So this goes in here, right? I'm going to have to glue all this, of course. We'll get to that later. I just want to showcase what it is. And then I'll get to gluing it all together later. Uh, that's that. There's a tail of some degree, which goes in like that, I guess. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Ugh. And we've got... This is my silver dragon. Must be my silver dragon. By the way, my, I'm having a little arthritis problems this morning. Or this afternoon. Well, here's the standee for Mr. Dragon Man. All right? So he goes... Oh, well... That sucks. Drop the wing. Here's Mr. Dragon Man, Sans Wings. Wait, come here. Come here, Wings. I want to see Wings. I want to see you all together if I can. 
Oops. <laughs> I knocked his head off. Stop doing that. You're so rude to me. You're so rude to me. Okay. And then here's the other wing. So, big old silvery dragon. Very cool. I love it. I can't wait to glue all of these together uh, and make a nice sort of coherent piece. Next up, we have, what is this? Looks like a lot of these are like not all together, so to speak. Like they have to be glued together. This one appears to be another, this one is a, like a Draco Lich, from what I can understand. Uh, yes, here are the wings. Is that all attached? I guess it is. Here's his Here's his head, wings, uh, all sorts of other bits and bobs, and of course his stand. Now I'm going to put all of this back in the bag because I don't want to misplace any of it, and I don't have it glued together just yet. The big dragon is different because it's, you know, you can't really get those pieces mixed up. This is a... Uh, great big Triceratops guy. I could probably separate this from its bag because it's only two pieces. Put that. Let's get this as our uh, garbage. A garbage. Yeah. So this is a fantastic uh, Triceratops. How big that dude is. He's a big honking dude. Boop. Very good. Why am I getting weird focus problems? Oh, right. Okay, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Alright. This one actually poked through the bag. Okay. You guess what this guy is? Just based solely on the body type. Can you guess what it is? Yeah? Yeah? If you guessed... Uh, this guy... Whoa, what? What? What is that? I do not know. Not that way. Um, I don't understand, man. Okay. Yep. There both goes this goes here, and that goes there, and this is, oh, it's his tongue. I was very confused. It's a T-Rex man thingy, doodad. T-Rex tongue and back. Uh, I don't really know why the tongue wasn't attached. Maybe it's so... You don't have, because that's big enough to hold like a medium sized dude, uh, like a regular mini. So maybe it's there. It's separate, so you don't have to put it in there if you don't want to. <clears throat> cool beans. I'm having a blast so far. Like a super duper blast. <clears throat> What's next? D D D D. Uh, wow, this guy's in like a lot of different pieces. Oh no. Look at these wings. Look how cool his wings are. That's pretty dope. 
Here's his legsies. <gasps> Here's a Minotaur. There's gotta be a Minotaur. Or like a Demon Man. Maybe. The Demon Man. This is a... Uh, here's his hands. Here's a... Here's an arm. That goes here, I guess. Must go here. Must go here. Yes, yes. Mmm. I actually like that these are a little bit loosey goosey so that you like have to glue them in a way. Because if they were like f super snugly fit, then you would run into other kinds of issues. Uh, like maybe it would be slightly misprinted, and then you would have to like cut away some of the wings. That's a nice wingspan on this fellow. By the way, we're going to nix all of that business. <sighs> that annoys me very much. <laughs> I can't really showcase him without appropriate nissness. Ah, here we are. So, I, I obviously he's not all together yet. Um, but here is essentially it's a demon, demon man with like a hoof hoofnessness. Uh, there's a very nice base and a very barbed tail. Uh, that'll look super badass when it's glued together. I'm actually stoked for this one. That'll be fun to throw against my players. Okay, focus. Okay, that camera's weird. It's being weird. I don't like it when it's being weird. Oh my gosh. There's so much here. Fan favorites expansion. This was um, one of the sort of explosive. Explosive? Um, what is the word? The. Whatever. After so much, the milestones, milestones, milestones. That's the word. Bird is the word. Got a little plastic poopy, little poopy dog. Well, if I can get it out of the. Well, this just this just stands independently. It doesn't have a uh, doesn't have like a standy. Not neat. It's a little blurry, I guess. Sorry. More puppers. So this is another dog. I'm assuming that these, uh, yeah, these will kind of stand independently of any kind of stands. Oh, we're gonna kind of do a little. Kinda, nope. Fine. Fine. I was gonna do a cool like show and tell majigger, but it wasn't working out. But we'll put them over here anyway. So you can see. You can see them. This looks like it might be a penguin. It's a penguin. It's a little penguin. <laughs> That'll be kind of fun to paint. You're under that. Do, 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 do. This is a worm. Worm. Made in China. That's kind of neat. It looks like a carrion crawler, maybe? Like a small, like a baby carrion crawler. Which is super cool. I like that a lot. These, by the way, um, do need to be primed, I think. I think, I guess, if you're, you know, sufficient. If you're sufficient. That's not the right word. If you're uh, <clears throat> crazy enough, you can do other stuff and things. What is this thing? There's a little Dargan. 
Oh my goodness. I guess so. It's like a little... It looks like a big iguana. It's face. This is his head. Um, maybe I should have put these together before I showcase them. But it'll be fine. Arms. Very spiny. A lot of uh, horn action stuff happening. Oh. It's... It's like a ripped looking dude. That's weird. Hang on. Is this a lizard folk? This has got to be a lizard folk. Yeah, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one of his arms. Maybe. How does that fit? It doesn't fit right there, you dummy. Look at his fingers, and you can see that. My goodness, Gerald. Stop being a dum-dum. Okay. Dee 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 dee. Dee dee dee. Dee dee. Dee dee. Oh. Is that? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This does not fit. You got to be kidding me. Is that the same arm? Did I get sent the same arm twice? That's very funny, actually, if I did. Yeah, I think I did. They sent me two of the same the same arm. Which is very funny to me. It's okay. He can be a one-armed guy. That's cool. <laughs> uh, there he is. Well, his head fell off. But uh, there he is. Good old lizard man. Minus one arm. <clears throat> because... Uh, they didn't send me the other one. They sent me two right arms. Uh, which maybe the other arm is, uh, maybe there's like another one and the other arm is in there. I don't know. I don't know at all. Dear friends, dear friends. <clears throat> this is a dwarf. A dwarf man. Man, yes, a really cool hammer, like a super bad, badass shield. E, 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 e. Okay, focus on that. There you go. Cool. There it is. Yeah, dwarfy man. I'm not keeping the bags for most of this because I don't need to. Um, because I have tackle boxes that I store all my minis in. Here's another uh, delightful doggy. Come on. Take focus, camera. Dee -dee -dee. Okay, cool. Third Poochie. This is a zombie, maybe? Is this a zombie? It's a skeleton. Skeleton warrior with axe and shield. Can you focus on him? Can you focus on him? There you go. There he is. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> My camera's working overtime with its autofocus. Oh, there's a big thing in there. Let's not do that yet. Okay, we got another skeleton with a um, big tasty axe. Come on. Focus. 
whatever. It's a big, it's a big skelly man. <clears throat> I'm gonna appreciate you, camera, being rude. A rude camera. This is a horse riding knight dude. Yeah. Who has a lance? I guess. A lance and a shield. That's cool. Nope. Other way, please. Chica. 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 <laughs> bow, bow. Okay. Got a horse and a rider, and his arms uh, are not there because I have to glue them. Um, but he has a very nice uh, lance with his arm attached, of course, and a shield. Lance and shield. Uh, I'll have to glue him together. We'll pop him in the bag. Pop him back in the bag because I don't have. They're, they're small parts, and I don't want to. I don't want any pieces of him to go away. Okay, very good. Very good. Very. Ooh, this is another dwarf. I do believe. This is a, oh gosh, what? He is cool, like, oh, he looks badass. He has like a winged helmet and a cool hammer and some kind of, uh, is that a nail? It's a big ass nail, a spike, a stake, something like that. Maybe he's a vampire hunter. Okay, let's get some more. Let's get some more of these guys out. Okay. 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 Another penguin. A little, little, cute, derpy penguin. I like it. Another dwarfy man. Which is just a little bit different than the rest. Hammer up, shield out. Shield has a cool like three three spike. Come on now. A three spike design on it. Maybe they're all maybe those are actual spikes like attached to the front of the shield. I don't know why you would do that. It just seems dumb to me. Guess what I got, everybody? It's a big elephant. It's a well, I think it's a mammoth technically because it's woolly, kind of woolly looking, and of course it has uh, horns and ears and such. <clears throat> I'll be gluing a lot of minis today, and for some time. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. That's part of the fun. That's part of why you get these, is to have fun eee, putting them all together. My friends, all you peoples, all of you peoples out there. Okay. I don't know, would you guys want to see, like, painting minis? I don't typically paint my minis, again, as I said before. But, uh, you know, there's always a chance. There's a chance for everything. Here's another um, zombie warrior who's very... Uh... Come on. I don't know why my camera's being rude like this, but alas. We'll put all the Zambos together. This is another dwarf, which is very cool. 
another dwarf with a hammer with the three spikes. It's a big hammer too. Like the hammer is no no joke. Hammer will f you up if you're not careful. Another baby uh, carrion crawler or uh, graboid, if you will. I wonder if I can have an idea. We'll see if it works. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, if I do, where's the where's my sweet spot at? Let's put this little book right here so you can see it. Cool. I like that. Okay, very good. This, I've kind of figured out, is like a big... Um, Snail. A snail thing. A flail snail, if you will. Uh, which I believe is featured in the. Uh, is it Xanathar's Guide to Everything? It's one of them. One of them books has the flail snail within it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is cool. You guys will like this. It's a super badass. I don't understand why this one was printed fully. And the other ones, some of the other ones, like the flail snail, were not. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Look at this guy. Is that too tricksy for... <laughs> okay. Look at him. Come on. You be nice with your zoomings. There we go. Oh, we have to back him up a little bit? Yeah. He's like a big crab. Lobster man. Love it. Love it a lot. Here is a... I can only assume is a what you might call a dire beetle. Like a rhinoceros beetle. <gasps> Ooh. That's freaking crazy. That's actually warped. Interesting. Why is that warped? I don't like that. This is a very stabby. I don't like it. It's so stabby. Um, what is. Oh. Right. Must be here. So it is. So check this out, guys. This is really neat. Um, we'll move Mr. Beetle, because we can. This is our, uh, portal. That's so cool. Uh, yeah. Look how cool that is. And it's got, like, little, uh, little guys that go on the, on the side here. Um, 
I will say a little bit of disappointment here in that the base is warped like pretty badly warped but uh, we'll figure it out I like it I like it a lot yeah. okay Woo. I'm still figuring out this whole camera business and we will eventually uh, just you know because reasons Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's try. Let's get back over here. Hey, everyone. E? Uh oh. Did I break it? No way. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's really unfortunate. Ooh, sorry guys. That's right in my face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Is that okay? Is it standing a little awkward, little little lop lopsided? Yeah. That's okay. Well, it's been it's been a great time. We're having a great time unboxing and packing these guys. Uh, this is another delightful skeleton. By the way, if you're one of my players watching this, it's going to be some fun times coming up for sure. Faux show. It's a little toasty in here. Another dwarf with an axe and. Uh, a cool like shield shieldy thing come on there we go oh I always have a tendency to go the wrong direction because it's reversed Is that going to be good? There we go. Rawr. Rawr. Okay. Another dwarfy man. Another dwarfy man. Another dwarfy man. Do, 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 do. Ooh. This is the king of the penguins. This, dear friends, is a dire penguin. So he has like spikes, like cool, super kick-ass spikes. Ah, stupid camera. You be nice. Closest thing. Rawr, 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 rawr. Okay. Well, regardless. Oh, I gotta put the crawl worm with the other crawl worm. That's a Magic the Gathering reference. <clears throat> E. E. Okay. This is some kind of lizard folk dude. I think. It's like a, a chicken leg or something. That's weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got. I oh, can't really see it. Here's his uh, his upper his upper body, right? Um, here's his lower body. Looks like chicken legs with some kind of tail. Can I just take this out? I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be good. Dee -dee, dee -dee. Oh goodness, that's weird. His head is turned at a very strange angle. In my opinion, anyway. Oh, 
He's like doing shock put or something. Neat. Is that how that goes? <gasps> it is. I see. Yeah. He's like a like a lizardy. A lizardy froggy man. Neat. See? Very good. I'm gonna keep him together. Just set him down here. I'll have to glue him up like all the rest of them. Not all the rest of them, but you know, a good chunk of the rest of them. Ooh. Here's another froggy man. But this one does it's like magic. It's a magic froggy man. head come off why is that that's glued already pre-glued pre-glued he's got cool like fire coming up from his hand he's gonna throw fireballs at you not really fireballs are his little peas little red glowy peas another penguin another penguin That's another, so that's four penguins so far. So far, so good, everyone. This is another um, knight sort of dude um, with a horse. We'll put that together later. Uh, this is a warrior of some kind. <gasps> look, 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 look. It's a cat person with two swords and a cute little tail. It's a cat person. See? Meow. It's a cat lady, to be precise. <clears throat> this is a gigantic crab. Thing. You can see it's, I'll show you this at least. Uh, you can see it's shell. So it's like a huge sized crab, uh, which I'm very excited to put together. This is a, what is this? Is this some kind of demon lady? <gasps> it is. This is, I believe, yeah. So this one is this lady here. Put that together as well. Ooh. This is so cool. Nope, let it go. <laughs> it's a zombie shark. Raw. Super badass, my friends. Super badass. This is a uh, hunts a bard. This is a bard lady with a nice big sword. Doing to me. Come on, camera. Yeah, that's cool. And what I can only assume is her dog. Some kind of just, it's just, just a dog. It looks like a dog. A regular dog, a little poochie. Could be a blink dog, I guess. If you wanted it to be, it that's, could very easily be that. Here is the other one on the front, the, uh, the sort of genie lady. Again, in a couple pieces, I'll put that together 
as we kind of go along. Uh, something to work on for the next couple of days. Here is a, another skelly man with a big axe. Hanging on to what looks like the prow of a ship. Like a busted up ship. I don't know. <gasps> this is cool. I like this one a lot. I'm super pumped for this one. <laughs> Check it out. It's a mimic. A true mimic. Looks like it was a chest and is not anymore. A spooky ooky mimic. What's this? This is a gigantic dwarf. Oh gosh. Okay. Sorry, there's a lot of glare. My, my apologies on that. This is it's like a huge, huge version of one of the other dwarves, which I like a lot. Is this another one? Is a follow up, follow up dude? Where's the head? Where's the head of this guy? Where is the head of this guy? Does a head appear in this? Um, no? Where's this dude's head? Does this guy have two heads? Oh, no. I'm just a dummy. Where am I? I'm so confused. Well... This guy might not have a head. Oh no. Is that it? That's a leg. That's a leg. Leg, arm, arm, head. Oh. Oh. I see. It's just a skull. It's just a skull, a scully man, with in the inside of a huge armor set. <laughs> I, lo I love it. I'm very pumped about that. That's cool. This has given me like weeks of uh, little side projects to do. This is that dwarfy man. Okay, and then here's another. I guess just an adventurer person, yeah? Do, 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 do. Another cat person with a cool little tail. Like, I, I really dig the tail. And then there uh, just looks like a fighter type. A fighter type. Yeah. I didn't notice, but was this person a male too? No. I was checking to see if the bard was a male too, but it's not. She's not. It being the miniature, not any other kind of craziness there. Oh, look! Uh, standees for minis, so I can glue them to minis. So that's good. I like that a lot. <laughs> Put that away. Lord of the Jungle. Is it painted? Wait. Wait. I must know. I must. I must know. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He just his seat. He doesn't have to be glued to his seat. He can just sit on his seat. How cool is that? Look at this guy. Look at this sweet, sweet, awesome dude. Rawr. I am Elephant Man, King of the Jungle. And he has a really super rad throne that is like very dense. I love that so much. 
I may have to glue him though. We'll see. We'll have to play that by ear because I don't know. Okay, that was cool. I didn't realize it had its own like fancy box and everything. This is. Uh, oh, it's a couple of different things. Okay. I got a couple of like smaller bags that have stuff in them. Oh my goodness. This is my tree man. Look at this is one mini. Look how big it is. Look how big it is. Wow. Okay. You'll have to wait and see some of these minis in their completed state in our campaign, which has we're gonna be moving to Fridays again, uh, just because of reasons. Mm-hmm. This one too. One miniature. And it is an amazing boat that's going to be coming out i think like next session but we'll see i haven't quite sussed that out yet okay now here's the key the key element here we're getting near to the end of our unboxing um, i have to open this i don't know what that is i just need to glue it together because that's going to be freaking bonkers um, Go ahead and open these really quickly. And then we'll get into the main box, which is the core set uh, that has like owl bears and like and there's a couple of glow in the dark yos, like undead ghosty types. Uh, it should be a really good time. This is a big uh, muscly demon man. Again, I don't really have time to like, we're so, sort of running out of time at this moment. So we'll have to be quick about it. This is the demon lady, I think? Yes. Alright, get away. I can show you her top, the top part of her, at the least. see her horn like poking through the plastic <laughs> is that all that that was just those two dang okay cool take that take that guys this is a um, giantess in all of her glory with a super nice spear and she has like a deer on her back and all that fun stuff. So that's that's pretty cool. Here is another giantess who has this one has a sword and a winged helmet, which you can't really see. But we'll get to that. Maybe. And here's their big dire wolf. Their big giant wolf. Cool beans. Cool beans, everyone. Cool beans. What? Fearless Paladin. Learned Wizard. Galadon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, huh. okay. I like Army Builder set here. Um. This is a series of goblins. A bunch of different goblins doing different goblin things. Um, I guess it's duplicates of all the same. It's like 12 goblins, which is very cool. I like that a lot, actually. <clears throat> I guess we'll be gluing those to minis, to bases, I should say. Here are little statues of gargoyles. 
so that's kind of fun. Here is a series of some kind of orbs, maybe? Like floaty magic orbs, perhaps? More goblins. This is more orbs. Little orby orbs. These are skulls. Little standees for skulls and stuff. Very cool. Sconces. Here are my glow in the dark uh, wraithy types. Blech. So you've got. Uh, they're like spirits that have spears. This is like a fisherman one because it has that like fisherman's hook thing. That's really cool. <sighs> the smell of fresh plastic. Swordsman. You have a. Uh, this one's just. This one's maybe a lady ghost. Oh yeah, that's totally a lady ghost. Probably can't see it, but uh, she definitely has some ghost bosoms stuff happening. Ghostly bosom stuff happening. Um, this is a ghost pirate who is drinking rum or other some kind of alcohol. And this is a swordsman standing next to a treasure chest. A spirited or ghostly treasure chest. Which actually gives me some fun ideas for some side stories. <clears throat> Here is a uh, great big uh, croco crocodile. You've got a big croc. You've got a sort of dire warthog. And what looks like a series of different crabs. So, more crabs added to the crab family. Uh, oh, look at these. Are these kobolds? I got kobolds. Yes. Maybe. Are these? I would say these are kobolds. Little, little kobold guys. We'll take them all apart and put them on standees. Oh goodness. Oh, right. There's another one of them big dragonies. The dragon eos, because, you know, reasons. Let's see what's in this bag. We've got. We've got. Seven. Uh, this is a. Is this a demon man? It's gotta be a demon man. Oh yeah. Demon man. Got some wings and stuff, that's pretty cool. Here is another similar demon man. Again, we're not gonna spend a lot of time opening all these guys because reasons. Um, here are the heads. Here's a smaller one, I guess. The smaller version. No wings on that one, I, I, I noticed. This is a... Uh, this looks like a living statue guy with like a mimic shield. It's super cool. Do the mimic shield. That'll be fun. That'll be fun to mess around with. I think some of those might be pieces of the same guy though. Maybe. Oh. Okay, here's a uh, succubus, I think, with like wings and such. Tail, spear, trident, things, yep. Good times. Another uh, little sort of medium-sized demon man. Another medium-sized demon man, and another. So I got a couple of those. I'll have to glue all them together. Oh, oh, I got loose. I got loosey gooseys in this one. Cool. Okay. We have a paladin. I got 
Yes, I would assume it to be a paladin. We have a wizard who looks suspiciously like a Gandhi type. Not quite Gandhi, because Gandhi used a sword and a staff, not a rod and a staff. Technically, you can't have that anyway, but that's okay. A barbarian lady with items of attachment that I will get to. Is that a tiefling lady? No. That's a sword that goes on her back. Okay. I was like, what is that? Is that a tail? Spot for a tail? It's odd. Dwarf. Here is a human. Stop right there, Colonel Scum. You, Inwa. This is a. This is a super jacked knight, dude. Yeah, it's a knight with helmet and no face, sort of things to speak of. Um, this is a winged. Is that a dragon warrior? What? Okay. Must be. That's pretty cool. I don't know where his head is. Um, and you can choose between like shields and swords and stuff. I like this one. Because you get choice to how you want to make your dude. This is another. Oh, it's a warrior lady. Very good. Very good, very good. A warrior lady again with a cool shield. I like that shield. Uh, I'm starting to like, visual on the shield design. It has like a rose or something on it. But it has a cool, like the way that it's, it's shaped is cool. It's a cool shape. Dwarf lady? Maybe? Dwarf lady warrior? Here is a caped knight guy. Um, this is a wizard with a Merlin hat, uh, which I'm very much amused by. I like that a lot. <laughs> Here is a wizard lady. Cool. Wizard lady. Got a nice little hat. And uh, she's cute. Cute back. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another guard. Another nameless guard fellow. And here is a. Oh, goodness. That dude is ripped. Would have been a perfect fin. Uh, Look at this dude. Rawr. Warrior. Warrior. You are a warrior. Okay. Skilled. Skilled warrior. Where is your head? Do you have a head? Oh, yes. You're an old wizard. An old wizard with no head. Old headless wizard. Here is another knight. Here is a, another knight. Or lots of knights, or like heavily armored individuals. They could be not knights, I guess. Armored fighter guy. Armored fighter guy. And then we've got a couple of floaters here. Oh, nope, I want that too. All right. Good. Good, good. He is, what is, is that a snake? What is sticking out of his, that's weird. Let's call it a snake. No, it's, it's a, it's a pseudo dragon. Okay. He's got a little, you can kind of see it on his back. Got a little pseudo dragon. That's annoying. You do that every time. See it? <clears throat> Very cool.
cool. This is a voluptuous um, priest lady. Maybe ghost statue. There's a cross. There's like a grave cross there as well. Very odd. A ranger lady with whip, perhaps. There's a cool wizard who's touching his beard very suggestively, I might add. And of course, another knight who has chickens on his shield. Chickens. <laughs> Bravely born Sir Robin, who fought with them a lot. He was not afraid to die for brave Sir Robin. It's gracious. Look at all the merits. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. He was not at all afraid to be killed in nasty ways. Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin. I'm actually super pumped about this one. So this pack is like villagers and like tavern people. Uh, like this is a serving lady. Uh, you've got, like, an executioner dude, you know. You've got just a little peasant who has flowers or paper, like scrolls of paper kind of rolled up. See? Yeah. <clears throat> Here's a dude who is like a town... He looks like a friar, almost. Like he's got the sort of tonsure, uh, priestly cut sort of dealio. This guy's clearly an mercenary for hire. It could be one of the adventuring party, I guess, if that's your jam. Here's a, uh, just a wandering traveler guy, I guess. Here's a lady with a torch and a rolling pin. Out to hunt monsters with a rolling pin. Killed him. A courtesan, or perhaps uh, a lady of the evening, or perhaps just a nice noble lady, whatever. I guess she could be any number of things. This one's a little more suggestive of that, a courtesan. Showing her belly, her belly button, and doing dancey things upon a shark, an undead zombie shark. Here's a beggar. Man, these are so freaking cool. Mm. This is a warrior. Warrior cleric, maybe? Could be a cleric with the mace. You could classify it as a cleric if you wanted to. This is a wagon full of pumpkins. Or it will be once I build it. <laughs> it's a piggy. A big piggy. Okay. And here is another guest on. Gaston looks like Bill in terms of the clothing and such. Here is a barrel toting fellow. I don't know why he's not put together. That doesn't make sense to me. Ow. But alas, not my place. 
We put them together, as we do. As we always do. What is this? Is this a big gorilla man? Gorilla man. Okay, so it's a big gorilla guy. This is an armored gorilla. That's pretty cool. And then here is just, he's kind of loosey goosey, but that's okay. Here's a, just a standy uh, King Kong sort of guy. I am like super pumped to use some super glue today. like a shaman snake lady. <clears throat> this is a draconic totem of sorts, which I think is very cool. Here's another, looks like a vampire s lady, very scantily clad. That's your jam. <clears throat> totally a vampire dude. Probably goes along with the vampire lady. Here is a mummy. Mummy. The mummy returns. Here's a ghoul. That has a head I have to glue on. Here is a... Another... Is it a Zambo? It's gotta be a Zambo. There's another ghoul zombie type of thing. Um, here is a another one. That one actually looks a bit more gargoyle-ish. Uh, anyway, this is what you like your death pack. You have a sarcophagus. Nope, that's an altar. There's a book. The book, the book. Here is your sarcophagus. <clears throat> Ooh, she's cute. Zambi lady, uh, not probably vampire lady. And this is Frankenstein. Or thereabouts. And that's totally a cool, like, grave. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'm gonna have a field day with all this stuff. <clears throat> There's so much for me to glue together. I don't think I have enough super glue here. Brave, 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 Sir Robin. These are those little chibi adventurer. Oh, gosh. That's too... Kind of a creepy doll head looking thing, really. But they're like the little adventurers that you have to kind of glue together. Um, they actually look like... Let's see if there's a picture of them on here. Uh, well, I guess there's not. I would have thought there was one there was. They're kind of like these little cute guys on the front. <clears throat> yep, rich warrior types and your wizardy folks and your cleric -y folks. Very cool. This is more. So these are hill giants. We got one there with a the big stone he's picking up. This one here is just a super, that's another gorilla man. It's like ripply, super ripply gorilla man. 
This is a, what is this? Oh, cool. It's like an orc. Or a hobgoblin or something. There's a big, gigantic guy with a shield. I love that. I, I can, I can, I can use some of this stuff. Time is of the essence. This is more. Um, yeah. Orc. Orky types. Orc. Uh, Eos. I guess this guy could be an orc. The big muscly. His face is very gorilla like, though. So maybe that's not the case. Here is another. Um, it could be a giant or like a little. Just a big tubby demon guy. However you want to roll with that is fine. Goodness gracious! I'm going as fast as I can, guys. There's so many. There's so many minis. This is a cool, ooh, it's like a fighter lady with a cape or cloak, I guess, as the case may be. <laughs> so, come on now. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. That's super cool. Already taken care of all that. My goodness, this is a serving succubus lady. Where did I get that one? Maybe it's all starting to bleed together, my friends. It's all starting to bleed together. <sighs> okay. This is a little armored goblin. Cool. These more goblins. It's like fancier armored goblins. I like it. I like it a lot. I can throw those together and that'll be super cool. Here's an orc. A full plated orc with armor, which is very, very neat. We have a Goblin Shaman. <laughs> we got a Goblin Swordsman. And another Goblin Swordsman. You could call him a Barbarian. He looks a little screamy. <clears throat> These little loosey goosey guys. Goodness gracious. Okay. We got a woman ranger. We have a uh, human. It was like a male with kukris. Sort of a got a Middle Eastern vibe to him. Which is kind of cool. One of those uh, all-encompassing cloth hat things. I don't really know what the term is for that. Here's a dwarf... Death cleric, maybe? It has a lizard companion. See? Isn't that cool? Oh, zoom in. She has a lizard companion. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> we have a oh no 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 little halfling rogue looking fellow. Maybe a lady. It's hard to tell. 
sometimes when they're when the, when the minis are small. There's an old uh, man cleric, little gnome, gnome dude cleric. And this is a lady wizard who is hovering. If you can't tell, her feet are not touching the bottom. Come on. Okay. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. There you go. Your feet are not touching. It's very cool. <clears throat> All right. We're almost done going through these. Boop. We've got a griffin that has uh, its wings are separate and out, uh, as well as its claw hands. This is a... Um, oh, this is an owl bear. Cool. And then this is a dragon. Or drake, or some other. Maybe it's a cockatrice? Yeah, that might be a cockatrice. Sorry. It's a... Just a big... Leathery chicken. Oh, I'm sorry. Two bags. Two bags food. Okay. We got a whip person. Adventurer type. With a whip. With a whip. Okay. We have a... Fighter? Barbarian lady, maybe? She's barbarian-ish, I would say. With the cool big old sword thing on her back. We have a lady. Say that's a lady. It might be a dude. Doesn't matter, really. Um, some sort of paladin, probably. <clears throat> I've noticed that most of the women characters in this don't have helmets, um, probably because it's reasonably easy to print hair nowadays, uh, I guess. Here's a death, uh, like a scythe-wielding adventuring lady. <clears throat> I like all these lady minis, because they're cool, like a lot, they're really cool. Assassin, lady, and then... Last bag, I promise. Goodness gracious. This is a... S snake man? There's his tail. The base of his tail. I have so much fun putting these together, guys. I'm super pumped. Another snake person. <laughs> Just throw it. Just throw it. Here's a snake lady with boobies. Which is kind of weird to see on a snake person. But... Alas. Um, more Snake Man. Snake Man. Snake. Uh, man? Snake person. I don't know. Cool. <gasps> that, my friends. Ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> is all of the things contained within this Kickstarter set that I backed two years ago. Um, let me just say, it's a lot. I'm very, like, viscerally excited, and I love it, and I'm going to start working on it now. So, I'll just kind of do a quick little scan to show you guys this. It's crazy. Minis for days. Minis for days, everybody. 
Got some over here. I've got uh, just like oodles and oodles of minis. Elephant. Elephant man. Okay. Let's spin it slowly. You can see. You see I'm recording. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Anyway. I uh, probably caught a little bit of the TV there, but that's okay. Don't care. It's muted, so can't hear anything anyway. Anyway, <clears throat> everyone, it has been a blast doing this for you. I hope that you have enjoyed watching it. Um, and I expect to see these minis in some form or fashion throughout the upcoming campaign. Which will again be, uh, it's going to be for the summer time, it's going to be on Friday nights, um, every other Friday. So, until then, Bumblebee Tuna, we'll see you next video.